3D boxing here with the undefeated X-Man, Xavier Bocanegra, uh, 2-0 now as a pro. Congratulations. What are the major differences between being an amateur and being a pro, and, and what transition did you have to make? Well, amateur is way, I think it's harder, because like the way you gotta hold it the whole week. If, you're, if you keep winning, you gotta hold it. And pro, you got a whole day to recover. And that's the major plus. So you fought twice now. You fought the first time in Vegas on the Lubin card, and you fought again in San Antonio, right? Yes, sir. Um, what, what's it like fighting on these big cards? 18 years old? Yes, sir. 19. 19, 19 years old. What's it like fighting on these big cards this early and this young in your career? Well, the exposure, like, the adrenaline is all up there. And I got a good team, Ronnie, my coach, my dad, everybody. I got a whole great team. I wanted to ask you about that. You turn at Ronnie Shield. Uh, Ronnie Shield trains Charlo, Laura, uh, Rickendow. He's trained Holyfield, Mike Tyson, Cordell Whitaker, Toro Gad. He's trained everybody. What's it like being in his in his gym, you know, and, and working out with him and being trained by, you know, a legend and a genius of a sport like that? It's an honor training with them. Um, the mentality, yeah. everything, everything gets you at 100. percent So gets basically, he gets came. He invited you to come spoil one of his guys. We'll name who it was, but explain, talk about how that went. It was, it was great. Um, well, he caught my dad. We got together for a sparring. We're doing great for the two rounds. Picked it up third round, stopped him, and he caught me uh, that if I ever wanted to fight. And so took, You were still took amateur it. that time, right? I was still an amateur. Yeah. So I took it as a pro. So you're 2 0 now. You've been off to a great start. You had a little setback with your hand, a little injury with your hand. Yes, um, Talking about that, what's the recovery time and when can we expect to see you back in the ring? I, well, I, it was, I heard in my last fight, um, July 9th. And it should be ready, like, I feel two to three weeks. It sh I should be back. Hitting with, I've been practicing my left a lot, correcting everything. Xavier Bocanegra, Donna, Texas. Uh, Rio Grand Valley is just filled with good fighters. And obviously you, your brother, and I'm just stand out. Y'all are part of this. I mean, what's going on all of a sudden in the Rio Grande Valley? There's so many good fighters out there. Well, the talent. The talent um, all of a sudden just went up. Well, the work, too, the sparrings, they get together. Everybody trains to win. Yeah. So that's why they, everybody's getting better. So Omar Juarez was here as well. Um, oh, there's Fabian Diaz. Went to two and zero today. He's about your age. You said you've sparred with him before, right? Yeah, what do you think of Fabian's performance, and, and uh, how good is Fabian Diaz? He's great. He's, he, he's up there. He's up there. He's All gonna right. make it. He's, yeah, he looked really, really good today. Uh, so I'm sorry. When, when can we expect you roughly? When, when do you think you'll be back in the ring? In about around November. So end of the year, November, November, December. I should be back in there. Can't wait to get back in there. <laughs> X-Man, Xavier Bocanegra, down at Texas, tell everyone where they can find you on social media. You can find me at, under, an Instagram, Xavier Bocanegra Official, my Instagram. God bless you, thank you for your time. Thank you.